Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2022 examination. Today we will discuss all those questions related to the linear algebra which was asked in this GATE 2022 exam with the help of the shortcut tricks in this video. There is no need to solve each question, we will provide, I will provide you the shortcut tricks for helping you. Myself, Dr. Gar, working in the School of Mathematics, Tapper Institute. You can simply follow this playlist, uh, this link for finding the various videos of the previous year examinations related to the vector calculus, linear algebra of this GATE 2021 LPP solution. All are available in my channel name, Dr. Harishkar. Playlist is CSNet GM examinations. So let's start with this video. So what is that? You have to, f if M is any of these three cross three matrix, then your target is to find the trace of the M. So we all know that the trace of the matrix is nothing but the sum of the eigen's value. So it is, if it is a 3 cross 3, there are the 3 eigen value and the determinant is 9. So one characteristic equation is I can written like this way. So once you solve this equation, you, you can easily find this are here. So therefore, there are the two eigen's values are my this. Once you know that two eigen's value, the third eigen value, since the determinant is my minus of nine, so what is the meaning of that? So it means if I say minus one, three, and the third eigen value is this is my minus of nine. So the third eigen value is my plus three. So you have the three eigen's value. So what is the trace of this matrix? That's the sum of these eigen's values. That is my five is the correct answer of this problem. Look what the another one is. So you have to define the subspaces this and you have to find the dimension of this. So first of all, you know what is the dimension. Dimension is nothing but the number of the independent vectors. That's the meaning of this independent vectors in the basis. So once there are the independent vectors, we always look about this term n minus r. What is the r is? r is the rank of the matrix. n is the dimension of this space. So if you look about this W1, what is the N and what is the dimension is 3 minus, look at that there is only one equation, so the rank will be my 1, fine. So if rank is 1, so what is the number of the linear independent vectors, that is my 2. So therefore, dimension of the W1 is my 2. Similarly, you can find the dimension of the W2. So W2 is again on the 3 minus, what is the rank, there is only one equation, so there is a 1. So here, so dimension of W1 and dimension of 2 is my here. So it means the first option is correct. Here there is more than one correct answer. Look about this, this is the dimension is my 2 plus 2. What is the dimension is my 3. So 2 plus 2 minus 3, 4 is also the correct answer. Look about the intersection. So if you look about the intersection, what is the meaning of that? It will consist of this equation 2x2 minus x3, 0 and of this equation both so again we will find the dimensions so it will be n minus r again n is again it's a part of the r cube what is the dimension is if you write in terms of the matrix so it will be like here clearly says that the, it's a 2 cross 3 the rank will be my 2 so it means it is my 1 therefore dimension of this intersection is my 1 that is also correct answers how you find the dimension of the plus that is nothing but the dimension of w1 my plus w2 minus of intersection so you can see that dimension of this is my 2 this is my 2 this is my 1 which is not equal to 2 it means the correct answers are my a b and d are my correct options so always remember that whenever you are trying to find the dimensions look about this shortcut to x n minus r here is there is only one equation so the rank is 1 there is 1 there is a 2 cross 3 so rank will be 2 n minus r is there Okay, so what is that? Uh, this phi i's are my orthonormal. What is the meaning of the orthonormal is? So it means if you take phi n of phi m with respect to x, it will give you uh, answer is 1 whenever n is equal to m, otherwise 0. That's the meaning of this. So it means I can simply write this as phi square is my 1. And phi of this is given to here, so I can substitute this value as c n square of pn square dx is my 1. Here cn is my constant so it can be taken outside cn square integration of pn square is my 1. Now 
वट इज़ अ पी एन पी एन इज माई लिजेंडर पॉलिनोमियल ऑफ डिग्री एन सो वट इज दैट एंड इफ यू लुक अबाउट दैट यू हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यूज एट वन और माइनस वन सो वट इज दैट इफ यू लुक अबाउट द लिजेंडर पॉलिनोमियल सो वट इज द पी एम इन टू पी एन इट विल बी जीरो वेन एन इज नॉट इक्वल टू एम एंड इट विल बी टू अपॉन टू एन प्लस वन वेन एन इज एम सो क्लियरली सेज दैट हेयर पी एन स्केयर दैट इज एम एंड एन आर सेम सो इफ यू लुक अबाउट दिस C n square that is the integration of this is my zero when is n is not and integration of this is my here so you can see it is my two upon two n plus one is one so I can find the value of C n from here fine so therefore now what is the remaining part is there so you have to look about this so what is the phi of six one so C n is constant so it's a C six p of six of one and what is the p of n so you, you all know that p of n is my 1 is equal to 1 for all n however we need a minus 1 also so what is that p of n is minus what is that this is my 1 and minus 1 provided if n is my even then it's a plus 1 otherwise it is a minus 1 so look at that c6 how you can find that c6 is it's my 13 upon 2 this is a 1 is always 1 so 5 6 by 1 it's not be the correct answer look about that 5 7 of minus 1 so it's a c7 p7 of minus so it's a minus 1 so it's a root of 15 by 2 of minus 1 that is also that wrong answer look at that 5 7 of 1 so it will be my 15 upon 2 p7 of 1 So p seven of one is always one because it's a plus one is always be plus one so it's a root fifteen upon two is the correct answer. Look at that five six of minus one so it is my thirteen upon two p six of minus one so you can see whenever n is even it's a plus one so say six is even so it's a plus one so the answer is root thirteen by two is also the correct answer so c and d are my correct answer of this problem. Okay, uh, look about this one. So uh, there are so many methods are there. Somebody told that you can write as a linear combination, but there is no need of that. You have to firstly look about these two vectors are there. So one, two, two, one. Check what is the determinant of this. This is non-zero. It means the mapping T is my one one. Once it's a one one, it's also the on two. So it means this is a bijective. So once it's a bijective, then there is no need to solve. You have to express this term in terms of here. I can write this value as t inverse of one comma zero. While for the second one is two comma one is my t inverse of one comma one. That's fine. Now you can compare it. You can check it. So t inverse of p q that is my p is one. In this case, p is my one. Q is zero. So if you substitute here one minus One minus zero is one, so it's a one satisfied. Two minus zero is two, that's also satisfied. One plus zero, one plus zero, and it's a two minus zero. It's a uh, one comma two, that's also satisfied. This is not satisfied because p plus q is my one, and two p plus q, two p plus q is my two plus zero. So sorry, that also satisfied, and this also satisfied. Look about the second option. One comma one is my when you substitute x is one. Y is one. You you will get p. Sorry, uh, t inverse of p. P is my one. Q is one. You will get x as my two. Y as a one. So you can see p plus q is my two, but it is not be a one. So this option cancel out. P plus q is two. That's two. Two p minus one. That's also two. P minus q. It is not two. It is not true. So which one is the right answer? You can see this is the only correct option which satisfied in both the cases. You can see that t inverse of one comma zero is my one comma two from here. From here, t inverse of one comma one is two comma one. So you can see if I take p as my one, q as a zero, so it's my one satisfied. Satisfied. If you take one comma one, one plus one is two satisfied. Two minus one satisfied. While none of them is Not satisfied, so the right answer is only B. While rest are cancelled. So sometimes the people may say that you can write in the linear combinations of one comma two plus beta times of two comma one of any 
x comma y then take the transformation and then find there is no need of solving this just try to solve this problem in a very simple way okay question number 16th is there so what is that you have to find this value b so if you look about this this what is that if you look about here if you open this but this summation is varies with respect to the k varies with respect to k but here this is my j also so what is the value of that j it is not given to you so i can take j as any value if i take say j is 1 you can see the answer is dependent on the j so if i take j is 1 the first option is 0 second option is my 1 third option is 4 fourth option is 1 so you can see there are the two same values are there which means we are unable to distinguish so if i take j is 2 we can check what is that this is 0 this is my 2 2 square is 4 this is my 16 and this is my 1 you can see these are the unique values so what i can take i can take j as my 2 in this examples so it is g2 e1 scale plus g2 e2 scale plus g2 e uh, sorry f it's f f f3 scale and so on now we can substitute the value what is the g2 so from here g2 j n varies from 1 that is my e1 minus of e2 so i can substitute here e1 minus e2 what is the f1 we can take f1 from here so it is my e1 plus e2 similarly from here e1 minus e2 and f2 is e2 plus e3 plus e1 minus e2 and e3 plus e4 and so on now you can open this bracket so e1 of e1 that's inner product space so orthonormal what is the meaning of the orthonormal is i of i is 1 e1 e2 that's a 0 e2 e1 0 e2 e2 is a 1 plus e1 e2 0 e1 e3 0 e2 e2 1 e2 e3 0 plus this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 and so on and the rest all are my 0 so what is the answer of this this is my 0 this is my plus 1 so the answer is my plus 1 which is that the, the last option is the correct option of this problem okay look about the another one is so a norm linear space is given to you so you have the vector x0 such that norm of x is my 1 and x and y are the two vector which are belongs to this x0 what is the meaning of that norm of x is my 1 and norm of y is my 1 and the line segment joining them what is the line segment what is the line segment of x and y so I can take this as lambda x of 1 minus so it means this also belongs to this okay but if you look about the options there are x plus y so it means i can take value of lambda is say half then only it can be taken so what is the meaning of that this is x plus y over 2 is my 1 or you can say norm of x plus y is my 2 now we can check about the options if this is my 2 this is my 1 this is my 1 then satisfied this is my 2 this is my 1 this is my 1 look at that there is only one correct option is a 2 square is a 4 1 square 1 1 square it is not true 2 is a 1 it's a 1 of 2 is also satisfied now the only thing is we have to check whether they are li or ld there are the two methods assume that they are ld so once they are ld it means this option and this option both are corrected but there is only one correct option it means it can never be the ld it is always be the li otherwise you can t think about any of the norm linear space so say r2 any of the vector in this is say 0 1 and 1 comma 0 clearly says if i consider this is my x this is my y so norm of x is my 1 norm of y is my 1 but see that this is my l i so it means the correct answer is my only a instead of the b and d okay look about this next one is there so which is which of the following statement is true so p is any matrix of 
m cross n where m is greater than so i can consider n is my 2 and m is my 3 so it means m is the any matrix from 3 cross 2 so i can consider any of the matrix 3 row 2 columns fine if the rank of the m is my n n is my 2 so what is the meaning of that if the rank is my 2 it means this value must be a 0 this value must be a 0 and then ax is the only solution what is the meaning of the only that is a unique solution now we all know mx is my 0 that is a homogeneous when it will become a unique solution unique solution only when the determinant of m is non zero or it is the rank of the m is equal to the number of the variables so what is the number of the variables are there so it is a since it's a uh, r cross m that is r cross 2 so the number of the variables are my 2 so what is the rank of this is also 2 which is nothing but my number of the variables it means it gives you a unique solution and what is the unique solution is is homogeneous so the unique solution is only x is my 0 so it means this statement is my true statement so it means the p is false statement false and this is a false now look about that uh, i your target is to check whether i plus t is singular what is the meaning of that it means determinant of i plus e can need to be a zero that is your target what is given to you e cube is my zero that is my nilpotent matrix once it's a nilpotent matrix what are the eigens values of this matrix eigen values of nilpotent matrix always zero so therefore what is the eigens value of i plus e square eigen value of the i is always be 1 1 and so on nilpotent matrix has eigen values always 0 so if e has eigen value 0 0 0 what is the eigen value of the e square that's also be a 0 0 0 and so on so what is the eigen value of the i plus e square that is always be a 1 1 1 and so on so what is the determinant of this determinant is always be 1 which is a non zero hence it is not singular but they are talking about the singular it means this is my false statement correct answer is only c is the right answer okay look about the last question is there so uh, which is that characteristic equation is given to you so there is no need to solve the problem again what is that so you look at that the coefficient of the lambda cube is my one so look about that so if you multiply them and this is my inverse that is my one upon m so if you multiply here it will be my it will be my b minus beta of m cube that is a lambda cube but here i need a one so this option cancel again if you look about that this is my m square this is one upon m again it will be my beta m cube that option also cancel out look about this option so i can write this value as of this form is lambda minus alpha if you take as lcm so you can see this value is alpha square alpha cube minus of this you can see i need the alpha as a positive but it is a negative so this option also cancel out the only correct option is my here you can simplify it you can see about that so if you multiply them what will happen this is lambda cube alpha lambda square plus beta lambda minus one which is the same equations so the right answer is my only d is the correct option so I hope you can simply learn these concepts are there. We will see some more lectures in our next class. Till then you can simply follow this link about the previous year papers, about the differential equation 2021, as well as the CSA net examinations, all in my playlist uh, channel name Dr. Harish. I hope you can like, share and comment these videos. Best of luck students. Happy learning.